Most comp Madden players would tell you that what I'm about to show you is probably the best passing concept in Madden 24, and it comes to us out of the Gun Bunch Strong Offset Formation in the New York Jets D Offensive Playbook. The player we're going to be taking a look at is Corner Strike. If you want to get my entire ebook on this offense, join the Patreon. Link's going to be in the description for just $10 that gets you access to all of my offensive ebooks, defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates, and we are going to be updating this ebook uh, pretty shortly here, uh, probably in the next uh, couple of days or so. The setup for this play is we're going to slot apprentice corner route our slot receiver. We're going to streak our tight end. And then kind of up to you, a couple different options in terms of how you want to might, might want to run this play. What I like to do uh, typically when I'm running this, if I'm worried about pressure, is I'll block the running back and I'll drag the backside receiver. So this creates what is known as the big corner, little corner concept. In my words, it's just essentially, to a degree, it's kind of like uh, a double out route concept, a, a sale concept to a degree as well. But basically what you have here is you're trying to attack the sideline. And as you can see, this short corner route is going to get into a really, really unique spot. Now, one of the big tips for running this play is you want to be running this with your bunch to the wide side. So you want that short corner going to the wide side of the field. And what you're going to see here is that outside quarter is going to have to go back to defend your deep corner route. And then you're going to be able to throw this little underneath short corner route right underneath of the defender. Now, uh, the other thing that might happen is they might want to go with a cloud flat from the slot corner. That is a pretty good adjustment, I will say. Um, it is a pretty good adjustment to run this cloud flat, but what you'll see is just because of the alignment of the formation, they typically can't get outside enough to actually be able to make a meaningful threat on this. So another thing you can do is you can smart route this corner. Um, you know, you might want to do that if you're, again, if, if they're baseline pressing, but they're using these cloud flat type zones, then this, when you smart route him, he'll just go a little bit deeper and get behind that cloud flat a little bit better, but you don't have to do that. And the other cool part about this play is let's say that they're running a cover three. So cover three or cover four, any kind of baseline press defense, this is a very, very good concept for. And I'm going to explain why it absolutely demoralizes cover two here in just a minute. But as you can see, you can just throw right over the curl flat defender. You can't do that if you run this to the short side of the field. Now, let's say, for example, that your opponent says, okay, well, I'm going to, instead of doing that, I'm going to run a cover two coverage because that cloud flat defender will take away the short corner. While the cloud flat defender will take away the short corner route, the deeper corner route is now open for a massive, massive play downfield. And that is the primary purpose of us streaking our tight end so that we're able to attack that defense. Now, another little thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could put your running back on a table route. And this would also kind of help uh, combat the baseline press cover two because now the running back would basically just be able to threaten that flat area of the field. I think that's actually a really underrated read uh, to make in this offense. But I also wanted to show you how this looks against other defenses that you might face, most notably being a backed off 30 yard cloud out of a double Mabel in the 6 1 formation. So this play is very good against that as well. And what you're going to see is if they are backing off these outside corners onto these 30 yard cloud flats, then typically what that's going to mean is your short corner should basically be wide open. So what you'll see, uh, I'm going to pass this down into the outside. And as you can see there, I just got to catch it, but he's wide open. He gets right underneath of that 30 yard cloud flat. So we'll show this to you again. And let me do, actually, let me do this. And let me make sure I get those deep halves on the field. So as you can see here, 30-yard cloud. Um, so another thing that you can do to attack the 30-yard cloud is peak your slot receiver. Sometimes he actually can um, get over the top. I don't know why I'm throwing that so far to the outside there. I'm going to try one more time. Um, but he can actually get over the top of the defender as well because that 30-yard cloud is kind of put in, into a dilemma. Do I guard the short corner? Do I guard the deep corner? And he almost always will end up actually guarding neither. So you'll see here, if you look at this R1 corner, it's a little bit, it's a little bit of a tight throw and doesn't always uh, pan out for you. But the thing I would say about that is your short corner will be really consistent at just being able to get underneath of that of that 30 yard cloud. I will say that the deeper corner route a lot of the times actually does get open. Let me see if I can get this open here. 
There you see, and that's a little bit more of what you're going to see. As you can see there, he gets just over the top of that 30-yard cloud, and a lot of people don't like to even put halves on their field if they're running cover four quarters. So you could be in potential, uh, potentially could be a one-play score if they don't do that. So uh, the next thing I want to go over, I want to show you that short corner one more time, and I want to go over one last coverage that this really uh, does a good job against. As far as man coverage goes, both your corner routes have a chance to beat man and your drag route also. Um, but again here, if you just take a look, that right there is wide open. I just I keep bending it too far to the right. It's kind of frustrating me, so we're going to try to throw one more time here and uh, just see if we can hit this short corner. So let's see. We'll just take we'll just take that. That's fine. I didn't even freeform it at all. We'll just take that. Okay. So last defensive coverage that I want to go over, and I think this is the best one if someone's trying to really uh, defend the big corner, little quarter concept, they're going to ultimately end up in this cover three cloud uh, at a dollar typically. And the reason is because they have this outside third. So the purpose of the outside third uh, for people when they're running this is that the outside third defender will go guard the uh, slot corner route. So as you can see here, if I try to throw this, see how he's right there. So I can't really throw that. So their idea is I'm going to take that outside third and I'm going to have him basically take away, you know, your, your, um, your deep corner. And then I've got a press cloud to take that away. Okay. That is good. But the problem is it actually leaves them vulnerable, um, up the middle of the field to your tight end. And what you'll see that right here, just throw that before he gets to that cloud defender. Now, this is where uh, we also have kind of a little bonus set up for you guys that stuck around to the end of the video. And that is where what I'll do is this is typically going to be a maximum coverage defense and their user is probably going to be right here. So if their user is right here, they can carry that tight end pretty well. All right. And we'll just kind of imitate that they're going to do that. So they can carry that tight end pretty well. Right. So what we're going to do to kind of counter that is we're going to put our running back out into the flat uh, or to, to the slot and put him on a streak. And what that is going to do now is we're going to be able to throw the C route against an outside third or outside quarter over there on the backside. And it makes this concept absolutely incredible. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys want to get my entire Jets offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. The link is going to be down in the description. $10 will get you access to all of the offensive and defensive ebooks that you need to make yourself a better Madden player. Thanks for watching the video. And to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.